All right, this video, I'm just going to do sh two short examples on solving tricky inequalities. So if you're watching this, you should already know how to solve inequalities, and you should remember the rules for when to flip the symbols around. All right, so example one here. Um, if I'm trying to solve for x, the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 15 from both sides. When I do that, that's going to give me negative 6 is less than or equal to negative 3x. All right, now I'm going to need to divide by negative 3. Remember when you do that, because you're dividing by a negative, this symbol is going to turn around. I think I told some of you yesterday that um, I like to circle this so that you can see that. All right, so when you do that, negative 6 divided by negative 3 is 2. This now becomes, flips around the other way, x. Now, this is tricky because you're going to flip again. This time you're flipping because x needs to end on the left. So this is x is less than or equal to positive 2. Um, so when you graph that, this is going to be 2, solid, and shading to the left. All right, so this, the, in this uh, problem, I just wanted to show you that you're going to flip twice, once because you're dividing by a negative and once because you need to turn it around. All right, so here's the second example. Um, this one has distributed property, it has fractions, and it has x's on both sides. So I just want you to see um, this one. So first, remember we need to distribute before we can get rid of fractions. So you have to distribute before you get rid of fractions if you're somebody that likes to take little notes in the margin. Remember that when we distribute, it's, it's the top number that's gonna multiply. Um, and I think I'm actually gonna multiply by like this negative five just to go ahead and deal with that. Um, and then the bottom number just goes over as um, d division. So this is going to be negative 30x over 2 uh, minus 15 over 2 is greater than or equal to 7x plus 1. Now notice this sometimes gets tricky. This negative 5 that you're multiplying by does not flip because um, you're not multiplying both sides of the equation, you're just um, distributing that. So this does not flip. All right, now we're going to simplify just like we did with fractions once before. So this is negative 15x minus 15 over 2, greater than or equal to 7x plus 1. Uh, remember that we want to get rid of fractions here. So take a second to think about what that step should be. All right, so I'm going to multiply everything by 2. This is going to give me um, negative 30x minus 15, greater than or equal to 14x plus 2. Um, and now you can kind of move things however you want to. Um, you can either, and I'm just going to show you, you could add 30x to this side. What that's going to do is put x on the right in the end, or you can subtract 14 to the left, um, which means you're going to have a negative number. So I'm actually going to add 30 just because I think that's going to be easier. Um, you all are pretty good with when it's written backwards. That doesn't seem to trip you up as much. All right, so I've got negative 15 greater than or equal to 44x plus 2. Now I'm going to subtract 2, so 44x uh, less than or equal to negative 17. And then I'm going to divide by 44. And remember, um, when you do this, it's okay to have a fraction. So this is going to be, if I move my problem. Oh, that's cranky. All right, if I move this, this is going to be negative 17 over 44 is greater than or equal to x. And when we flip that around, that's less than or equal to negative 17 over 44. Um, and that would just be closed and to the right on that fraction. So remember, fractions um, are okay and something that you might get here in Algebra 1.